they're all full of life and they're such um this is bob bob of the blue pegasus guild <laughs> and just in case you were wondering he's a man i mean hey no matter if he's a mon he be whatever he wants oh you must be talking about lucy <laughs> <laughs> See, this honey's a poster girl. Oh my god. Grab some eye candy, boys. He's a look at the sweeties I got in my guild. That's <laughs> Mira Jane. It may be the greatest Oh, they just foreshadowed something huge. Because that one guy just asked him that your members are always destroying the towns or they're gonna about to destroy one. I didn't even think about it. All three of them working together? There's going to be some serious explosions. I can't believe this is happening. Those three really could destroy an entire city. A bunch of his lackeys took over the train. I think I know who they are. They're the dark guild punks who've been hanging around town. Oh, man, they were just right there. They missed him by that much. Why do they want to hijack a train? Guys are going in such a big hurry, and why? Am I? How did he lose his clothes? Oh, they got. Oh, I'm so dumb. They were riding on a train. You allowed a fairy tale fly to see the lullaby flute and then let him get away. Is that true? But it's not like he knows anything about our plans, sir. We can't have flies buzzing around where they're not wanted. It will be up to you men to swat them away. Yes, sir. He's such a tryhard. But at this rate, you're gonna use up all your magic before we even start fighting. Well, then I'll just have to rely on hand. I see. She is being kind of reckless. Okay, now I, I understand. I understand why the rest of the guild is like, eh. When it comes to Ursa. Just bite him. Hey, you. It's your fault I got in trouble with Aragorn. My guy. <laughs> what the hell he can fly? He flew. It's wind magic. Huh. You plan to broadcast the lullaby song? Oh. <laughs> if I raise the volume enough, I may be able to extinguish the yeah, entire but city with my melody of death. If you what hear you the music to too, to wouldn't you die too? People of this town. This is a cleansing of who remain willfully ignorant of the plight of those who've had their rights wow. stripped away. They've committed the seriously one of one dimensional villain. Justice. Therefore, the Reaper has come to you. Ain't death. yet. You guys are completely insane. We're rolling this in a new age of darkness. Of course, by the time it gets here, you what is it doing? You're in the wrong show. I knew I recognized that voice. <laughs> wow, looks like we've got ourselves a party here, huh? The fairy tale flies flew right into my trap. Everything is going exactly You idiot. As but I will not what plan? You're about to get your ears kicked. If the two of you work together, not even Aragorn the Reaper can Ooh. defeat you. I'm leaving him in your hands. Oh my god. <laughs> I got it. Oh yeah, because you can easily take down the little wimps. I mean, even hopefully Lucy can help with this too. <laughs> oh, you're sleeping in them. I'm sorry. Oh, she summoned her sword. Ooh. That is sick. They use it 
So she's more of a badass version than Sensen from Naruto? That's cool! Ooh, summon a cow! <laughs> oh, she's gonna summon a crab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so silly! Just give me hairstyles. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I totally scored points with her. However, this crab spirit of yours, the way he calls you baby, I find it rather insulting. Ah! <laughs> Still so many. Ah, oh, but they're chumps. Annoying. She's going full sailor mode. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Did she really need to go full ultimate mode? On Dude, the queen of the fairies? Oh, she was only able to keep the outfit temporary. <laughs> you should follow him. Me? <laughs> Oh, baby girl's tired. I've got a bone to pick with that jerk from messing with fairy tale. I'm gonna burn him to a crisp. Dolly <laughs> <laughs> oh, them. Later, loser. They may have like this weird rivalry, but uh, I'm sure there's some love in there. The casting it over the station's PA. Oh, what? <laughs> Sneak attack. That was a pretty good guess, pal. So tell me what the plan is, and you won't get hurt. <laughs> this station's been taken over by evil wizards! Oh, perfect, perfect. cast a deadly spell over the loudspeakers that would kill everyone Come as civilians being nosy! Get the hell out of there, you're gonna die! <laughs> Why would you make everyone panic really? like that? Really? I would rather that than watch all of these Thank people you. die. In fact, you gentlemen need to evacuate as well. Uh, um... No Was he trying to trap them inside there? No. Holy shit. I don't have time to play with you right now. What is he doing? Oh, I just I was about to guess that too. Like he was gonna push her inside. What is the meaning of this, you scoundrel? I'm surprised they can hear each other. It's pretty windy. That's silly. Unless you're able to fly like Aragor. So the lullabies in Clover. You know what else is there right now? Oh shit! All the guild masters, right? Oh fuck! But wait. I mean, you're gonna try to fight the guild masters. Which more than likely are more powerful than the dudes you're fighting now, so. Uh, I ain't missing duct tape. They just freeze this guy already. Like, now you know their plan is to feed him. When you mess with the guild masters, then you mess with all of us. They may be old fogies, but they're the closest thing we have to parents. Just come out and fight already! Oh, I can't believe he even said that. Wow, I'm surprised that Grave would even say that, where he said that the uh, guild masters are the closest thing to having a parent. Um, like one of the aspects that I loved about Naruto, and I kind of like saw it from way in the beginning, was like the huge theme of bonds, right? Friends, friendship, love, right? And I'm starting to sense the same thing here. Only the theming here is more or less parents or family, almost the same way. 
you know, you have Natsu, who's very fragile when it comes to parenthood. Of course, he's looking for his father figure. And now in today's episode, you have Gray kind of get offended and almost in straight up anger be like, yo, you're not going to hurt you know, the one person I hold dear to me, or at least a class of its own, which is the Guild Masters. I'm sure eventually we'll get to learn more about Grey, so I mean, I'm curious why he would say that. Maybe he's an orphan on his own. Very interesting awarding. So I really liked today's episode. It was really fun. We get to delve into more of Earth, so we, we get to see her magic and weaponry, how she's able to switch from weapon to weapon, how she was able to go all Sailor Moon mode, and transform, uh, which was pretty epic. I liked her little uh, outfits, whatever. Only she's kind of worn out from using her magic to ride uh, that uh, car thing uh, in the previous episode. But she doesn't really have that much more magic. We actually got the plans from the bad guys. So pretty much, so pretty much, Aragorn was trying to stop the trains from going into Clover, where all the guild masters are, and he wants to head there. To pretty much play the dark flutes and you know of course kill them er so he pretty much but now he trapped uh natsu and friends in this station so they can't get out for the meantime i guess so we saw ursa take down the wimps we saw gray take down another uh putty i guess and now i'm sure in the next episode we get to see Natsu fight his villain of the day, which more than likely gives us um, maybe another episode or two before we head out into clover and uh defeat Aragorn, or maybe more than likely see him get defeated by the rest of the guild masters all right that about wraps up about today's episode uh, did you like it or did you hate it discuss with me down in that comment section feel free to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't before and as always god bless you thank you so much for watching and for a while for now Bye bye